Hey guys, John here. So I have my 2022 Toyota Tundra in front of me and Flated sent out a air topper for the back. So if you guys haven't seen the video in the past, I did this on my Tacoma 2, but essentially in that bag right there is a full camper shell for your truck that you're able to take on and off with ease. It's pretty light and it's inflatable. So if you guys aren't gonna use it, you don't have to have it on the side of your house, taking up space in your garage, because as you can see, it folds down into a nice bag. So I'll leave a link to this and also my Tacoma videos for the flated stuff down in the description. Let's go ahead and get this thing filled up and thrown on the Tundra so I can show you guys what it looks like. So in this front pocket right here, you have the instructions and you also have all of the tie down straps that you're gonna need. I've found it easier with the Tacoma, maybe a little bit of a challenge because I have this deck system in the Tundra, but I was able to position the little cleats on the side of the truck pretty well to have the whole system strapped down and be secure. All right, so here it is all laid out. The glass is already on this one because I believe Ryan, uh, the owner of Flated, told me that this uh, came off a customer's truck and he didn't need a uh, full-size one, I guess. But you have three fill ports, one there, one in the center, and one on the other side. For the Tacoma, they were all together, so I just filled it up with the one in the center and then it filled the whole thing up. But I'm gonna show you guys how to use it with the pump because they do also have a pump. And basically we're just gonna put it between five and eight PSI. So I'm just gonna peg it right in the middle around six-ish and then just fill it up right here and we'll put it on the truck. So I have the compressor right here and I'll set it to six and a half. You just push the end of the nozzle of the hose down, twist it to secure it. So now it's nice and secure. And then I just have the truck on and I have it into the 12 volt there. Whenever the truck's on, it's always a lot easier, but we'll go ahead and just press the power button. And it'll start filling itself up. And then sometimes too, the compressor will kick on like that. All right, and just clicked off. So it's fully inflated, very, very stout. So we'll go ahead and put it onto the Tundra now. Super easy. So what's nice about this uh, newer version of this topper is this Velcro portion right here. So the whole back glass, like I said, was already on, uh, but it Velcros to the back right here, which is nice. But then you also now have this bit that, Velcro, that Velcros around the side and the top too, making it, and the top too, so that comes down. So that part, it just Velcros into it and it makes it a bit more um, weather tight, which is pretty cool. So a bit more weather tight than what it was in the past. So that's pretty nice in the back back here. All right, so with the deck system in here, I can't really go down to the bottom, unfortunately, because like inside these ammo cans, I attach to the hooks uh, that these would normally hook to. So with the deck system, doesn't seem to work the best, but I still want to give you guys an idea of how this is for your truck. So I just attached it to the D-rings right here. Uh, if I drive, obviously I would want to make those a little bit tighter, but you have a ton of room still in here with this, even though I have the decked system on it, very clear visibility. It seems too with this version too, that your cab window right there is a bit lighter. The one with the Tacoma was a little bit darker and same with these side windows. You can really see out of it very nicely. There is a little bit of a screen right here. So if you are camping and you just need a screen, you could do that or two. If you want to open these, you can, for a breeze, you can open it too, have the wind blow in, pretty nice. Okay, so who is this topper really for? So if you are looking for a camper shell or a permanent topper for your Tundra or any full-size truck, I definitely wouldn't recommend this, right? And even the company doesn't recommend that if you are gonna always have a camper shell on the back of your truck, get a fiberglass one. They're more secure-ish. I mean, if someone still wants, if someone wants to break in, they'll still break in and get your stuff, right? But they're a bit more secure than this air topper one. This one is for those that have to use their truck as an actual truck during the week, do truck things potentially on the weekend, but that once in a month, once every couple months kind of a thing where they're like, hey, I wanna go camping and sleep in the bed of my truck. Well, you take it from your garage, 
you fill it up with air, put it on the truck. You can drive with this on your truck. It doesn't need to be filled up at a location. Put all your stuff in the bed. You have a nice shelter over top. You guys can see right here. When I rain tested it with the Tacoma, it actually worked pretty well and it kept the inside of the truck decently dry, which, which was pretty nice. So this is for those that when they're done with it too, then after the camping trip, they could put it back into their garage, put it into a closet, fold it up, maybe even put it inside. And it's not a lawn ornament just hanging out over there on your side yard or inside your garage when you need it to be a truck, when you need your truck to be a truck, it's not sitting inside your garage, taking up space. So that is who this topper is for, honestly, guys. So I, I enjoyed it on the Tacoma. It's still hot in Florida. I haven't really been able to use them yet for a camping adventure, but I do plan to in the future. I like all the added uh, wind support that they did with these for the Velcro and stuff. Seems pretty air seems pretty tight to the um, bed rails right here too. You have a nice thick padding at the bottom of it. The back too, that little updated back that I was talking about, all this seems to be new. I don't recall it on the Tacoma one. Uh, I wish I still had the Tacomas on so I could see it back and forth. And then too with the heat, this back glass will get uh, flatten itself out. So that's what it looks like on the back of the Tundra. We'll go ahead and go inside of the truck so I can show you guys the visibility out of the back. And of course we have a re reflection. So that's the visibility out of the back. You can see good and that's going through two kind of rubbery windows. Nice tint right here for some protection so people can't really see in. Very, very cool product guys. So if you're indifferent, about a shell, if you kind of need one, you kind of don't need one. I definitely think that this, or even a soft topper, uh, would be the best options to do. But this one, in my opinion, and it's not just because they sent this out for me to showcase for you guys. This one, in my opinion, though, uh, it is a bit more weather tight than a soft topper. And uh, honestly, very, very easy to put up onto the vehicle and take down. So guys, link to everything down in the description for the flated air topper for any full-size truck. This one just on a 2022 Toyota Tundra. Guys, I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.